Hey everybody, my name is Matter Wellens. Today we're going to be taking a look at a demo for a game coming out later this month called Virginia. Virginia is a single player first person thriller set in a small town with a secret. Experience a missing person investigation through the eyes of graduate FBI agent Ann Tarver. I mean, just from this description alone, I feel like it should be something right up my alley and I'm interested to see if it actually is. I haven't looked too much into it yet, but it looks like this is inspired by Twin Peaks. So let's stop dawdling and take a trip together. There is our missing person poster. We're FBI. We've come to talk to you about a missing person. They're crying. The missing person, I'm guessing, is their son. Yeah. What was his name? Lucas? It looks like a big case. There's quite a few people here. Oh. I guess we should look around their house a little bit. For clues, maybe? Wow, we just got right into it. And as far as I can tell, there is no spoken dialogue in this game. So we'll have to pretty much just figure things out as we go along and be hyper observant if we want to piece together the story. Oh. Anderson Community College. Enrollment. Oh, he's gone missing, but he- Edith. Wait, who's Edith? Is it the mom? Edith? But the person missing is Lucas, isn't it? Computer science. Somebody wanted to apply for college. Hmm. Hang on. What year is this? How do I... February 29? 1948? Date of birth. And we're in the 1992 right now. Yeah, so this person is in their 40s. Must be Lucas's mom going back for more education. Pretty normal looking house. And normally, a happy family would be living in here, but now. I'm not sure how happy it is. Lucas! I can't go in? Yup. And you can tell it's a religious family as well. Crosses everywhere. Not much we can look at, though. Oh? Why did you do that? Do you think there's something in here? I'm just not sure why you brushed away the clothing like that. It doesn't seem like I can do anything, though. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay, Lucas had his own little cave. He liked photography.
Whoa. Is that his girlfriend or mom? Ah, this is his dark room. His photography dark room. Oh. I guess we got what we need and we just left the house. Whoa. Things that only happen in small towns. Here's my partner. Fellow FBI agent. It feels really small town. We have to drive all the way out here for a gas station. Oh. Can I get out? Nope. Maria! My partner's name is Maria. Maria Halperin. Oh! Did she get married recently? Or divorced? We don't know. Wow! Okay! I'm in a police car right now, aren't I? They knew I was the police and they did that. Car choked a little bit. Yeah. We're at home. Investigating? And here's the book we got from Lucas's house. Oh. Science Center. Hmm. Seems like he was an artist as well. It's me! Wait, who am I then? Who am I right now? What? Is this my house or... The police department or something? Oh? Who am I? Can't turn off the lights for her. But she fell asleep. Studying the case materials. Am I Maria? Oh, what the heck? Oh... What? Who am I? Evidently, Lucas is still missing, because everyone... This looks like it's become the base of operations or something. Can I sit down? Susan. Can't be a small town without a diner. Oh, what the hell is he doing? Just wanna see. Nope, it's not there anymore. Are you sealing Lucas's room? Dad! What are you doing, Dad? Don't give up hope yet! 
your son might still be alive. This is a really strange course of action to me, because that's effectively saying I believe my son is not around anymore and he won't be needing the room. I don't think many parents would accept that. Oh? Whoa! What? Am I plagued by nightmares? This all seems a little bit... abstract. Halperin. Maria. Yeah, that's me. I'm Anne. Shadow. I wonder if there's anything here. I think they wanted me to go into Maria's office, though. Yeah, not much here. Let's go then. Where are we? It looks like a basement. What's even going on? Maria's not here. Is that Maria's mom? Or something? Oh. Shouldn't have looked at people's stuff. Oh wow. I don't think she's happy with us. At all. No, please, Maria, don't be like this. Can we talk about the case? Oh, she got really angry so quickly. This office, the location is kind of crappy inside some cellar. But it's got some nice perks here and there, like the basketball hoop. I like that. But I'm not sure if we should be talking about that while she's shooing us out. Sorry. Oh? You want me to go? Day whatever of the investigation. Do we have a lead here? Ah! It's the cave! The cave we saw in Lucas's book! Lucas's book with the drawings. U.S. Air Force installation. It's unlawful to enter this area without permission of the installation commander. Use of deadly force authorized. I wonder if we have permission. I know we're part of the FBI, but I don't feel like we have permission. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully not with the deadly force. He had a hideout. Multiple people. 
two. At the minimum, two. How is he even powering that? Oh, he's got a generator here. Wow. What? Why is there so many... Why are there so many bird cages here? What the heck? I don't know about this. Oh, it seems pretty used to people. Usually birds would just run away. Oh my god. Is that it? Oh. That was it. Okay, at the end there, I don't know if my partner is okay or not. A rock just fell on us. Oh, Virginia. A striking painterly art style steeped in the magic of small-town America and the vibrant Virginia countryside. A dreamlike journey punctuated by intense drama and populated by a memorable cast of curious characters. An original detective noir story in the tradition of Twin Peaks, Fargo, and True Detective. Cinematic editing that immerses players in a story told in the style of film and TV. Releases... September 22nd. Hmm. Okay. That was actually extremely short, so I don't really know what to make of it. But I did like what I saw. Oh, look at that. We have a map here of the town, the small town. That's pretty cool. That was kind of interesting, how they kept dropping little pieces of information about the characters, like, uh, Edith. We don't really know what was going on with the whole application to college thing. And Maria. I'm thinking about it now, but in conjunction with the envelope that we saw, could the person in the necklace have been Maria's wife? Ex-wife? Maybe that's why she didn't want us seeing it. She didn't want us knowing that she's still thinking about her. I don't know. The whole thing seems to revolve around investigating the case of a missing person, but as you can see there, we didn't really get too far yet, and we don't know anything about the person, or anything about anything really. But yeah, I think it was way too short for me to determine if I liked it or not. Like I mentioned, it was pretty dreamlike. Abstract things started happening left and right. I'm kind of interested, but I'm not too sure if I'm full on interested, if you know what I mean, so... Let me know if you want to see more of this or not. Because uh, when the full game comes out, I'm not sure at the moment, at this very moment, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be looking into this more. Yeah, thanks for watching the Virginia demo with Matter Wellens, and I'll see you someplace else. Bye!